The Hubble Space Telescope just captured something that has astronomers scratching their heads. An interstellar visitor called 3i Atlas is behaving in ways that challenge what we thought we knew about objects from beyond our solar system. This comet has been hiding behind a veil of dust so thick that we can barely see what's underneath. The particles it's shedding are 10 times larger than normal comet dust. And here's the kicker. It's maintaining a powerful jet aimed directly at the sun even after its closest approach. Something that shouldn't be happening if this were just an ordinary comet. What Hubble revealed in December 2025 changes everything we thought about this mysterious traveler from another star system. When Hubble pointed its camera at 3i Atlas on December 12th and December 27th, 2025, the images showed something nobody expected. The comet had a double jet structure, basically two streams of material shooting out in opposite directions. But when astronomers used special image processing to enhance the details, the real story became clear. The bigger jet is what scientists call an anti-tail, and it stretches out for over 248,000 miles toward the sun. That's roughly the distance from Earth to the moon. The second weaker jet points the other way. Now here's what caught everyone's attention. Between those two observation dates just 15 days apart, these jets completely changed. When one jet got brighter, the other got dimmer, then they switched back. Think of it like a rotating lawn sprinkler, except this sprinkler is a comet from another star system, and instead of water, it's shooting out dust and gas at thousands of miles per hour. Now this is where things get really strange. Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard has been crunching the numbers on this thing, and what he's found doesn't quite add up with what we know about normal comets. The dust particles coming off this comet are about 10 microns across. That's roughly four ten thousandths of an inch. Sounds tiny, right? But compared to typical comet dust, these particles are 10 times bigger. Here's why that matters. For these heavier particles to travel 248,000 miles out from the comet, they need to be moving at speeds close to 2,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a speeding bullet, about twice the speed of sound. The problem is this. If 3i Atlas is just a regular comet, the gas coming off its surface from melting ice shouldn't be able to push these big particles that fast. It's like trying to blow a bowling ball across the room. The physics just doesn't work. But somehow this comet is doing it anyway. Let me give you some more numbers that'll blow your mind. This comet is losing about 1,100 pounds of material every second. That's over half a ton every single second. Just the dust alone accounts for about 7.3 pounds per second. Imagine a pickup truck's worth of material being thrown off this thing every few minutes. Now here's something really weird. Scientists calculated that the cloud of dust surrounding this comet is perfectly balanced. Not too thick, not too thin. It's just dense enough that sunlight can barely get through to the surface. This creates a strange situation. If the dust gets too thick, sunlight can't reach the ice underneath to melt it and create more gas. If it gets too thin, more sunlight gets through and creates more dust. The whole system balances itself right at the edge. For a natural comet, this is an incredible coincidence. It's like the comet is regulating itself automatically. And because of all this dust, if you tried to take a close-up picture of the actual solid core of this comet, you couldn't see it clearly. It's hiding behind its own dust cloud. Based on how thick this dust is, scientists figure the core must be at least 1.2 miles across, about the size of a small town. Here's where things get even more interesting. This anti-tail jet, the one pointing at the sun, has been going strong for months. The comet made its closest pass to the sun back on October 29th, 2025, when it came within 126 million miles. That's a bit farther out than Earth's orbit, but closer than Mars. Now, normal comets don't do this. Usually, when a comet passes the sun and starts heading back out into space, it calms down pretty quickly. But not this one. It's still blasting material toward the sun like it's got something to prove. Dr. Loeb's team figured out something important. If this is a normal comet, the gas in that jet should only go out about 3,100 miles before the solar wind. That constant stream of particles flowing out from the sun pushes it away. Think of it like trying to blow smoke into a strong breeze. Eventually, the breeze wins. For a regular comet where the gas comes from melting carbon dioxide ice, the gas would be moving at about 440 miles per hour. At that speed, the solar wind would overpower it at around 3,100 miles out. Beyond that point, the jet should be just dust with no gas at all. But here's the thing. If telescopes find gas streaming way farther than 3,100 miles along that jet, it means the material is being shot out much faster than melting ice can explain. 
and that would be a real head scratcher. So what does all this tell us? If 3i Atlas is a natural comet, and most scientists still think it is, then it's showing us something we've never seen before from an interstellar visitor. The math suggests there should be about one trillion objects like this passing through our solar system right now. Across the entire Milky Way galaxy, we're talking about a number so big it's hard to wrap your head around. 10 followed by 23 zeros. To create that many wandering comets, every star system in the galaxy would have had to kick out about 10 Earth-sized planets worth of material over the past 10 billion years. That's a staggering amount of cosmic recycling, chunks of ice and rock getting thrown out of one solar system and drifting through space until they encounter another star. But here's what makes 3i Atlas special. Those 10 micron dust particles it's covered in are the kind you typically find in molecular clouds, those huge, dense clouds of gas and dust where new stars are born. Most space dust is much smaller. So did this comet pick up this dust while passing through one of those clouds? Nobody knows for sure. Right now, astronomers are working hard to figure this out. Big telescopes like the Keck Observatory in Hawaii and the Very Large Telescope in Chile are watching this comet closely. They're using special instruments to measure exactly how fast the gas is moving and how far it extends. By looking at how light from the comet is shifted, kind of like how a siren sounds different when an ambulance is coming toward you versus moving away, they can clock the speed of that material. The Webb Space Telescope looked at 3i Atlas before it made its closest pass to the sun and measured it losing about 330 pounds per second. Now it's up to 1,100 pounds per second more than three times as much. That makes sense because it got heated up more when it was closer to the sun. Even amateur astronomers with backyard telescopes have been helping out. One guy with a 10-inch telescope captured images on December 28th, showing that jet stretching across a huge chunk of sky. Another observer in Belgium with an 8-inch telescope got pictures showing the jet extending across 1 1.1 by 1.8 million miles of space. There's even a small telescope orbiting Earth called NEOSAT that grabbed images on December 21st. All these observations from different places help scientists track how this comet is changing over time. So here's the bottom line. 3i Atlas is an active visitor from another star system, and it's doing things that push the limits of what we thought was possible for a natural comet. It's throwing off unusually large dust particles at incredible speeds. It's keeping that sunward jet going long after it should have calmed down. It's wrapped in a perfectly balanced dust cloud, and those jets keep changing and wobbling in ways that suggest something interesting is going on. All of this could be explained by natural processes, but just barely. Everything about this comet seems to be operating right at the edge of what's physically possible. The numbers work out, but there's not much room for error. What makes this so valuable is that 3i Atlas is giving us our first really good look at how stuff from another solar system behaves when it gets close to our sun. Whether it's an ancient chunk of ice from a molecular cloud, a piece of a planetary system that's billions of years old, or something else, it's teaching us that interstellar space is full of surprises. The mystery isn't solved yet, but that's what makes astronomy so exciting. We're watching scientists figure this out in real time, and what they learn will change how we think about our place in the galaxy. If you found this fascinating, hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm show this video to more space enthusiasts like yourself. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next deep dive into the cosmos. And here's something new we're trying. Leave a comment below telling us what aspect of 3i Atlas intrigues you most. The dust veil, the anti-tail jet, or the possibility of more interstellar visitors. We read every comment and your input helps shape future videos. And if you know someone who'd love this mystery as much as you do, share this video with them. Let's spread the wonder of discovery together.